the Hobby King 5.8 gigahertz system, um, first person view system. I'm going to show you guys how to get everything set up here and get the wiring uh, correct. Uh, sounds from the comments like it varies a little bit for everybody, but this is how I wired mine uh, and it worked perfectly fine. So I'm going to show everybody how I got mine set up. Uh, this cable right here goes directly to your GoPro um, for the video out, and I got this from ReadyMade RC. This is the wiring, the harness that came with the 5.8 gigahertz system. The only two wires I actually ended up using from this were the black wire and the yellow wire. The black wire is the ground wire and the yellow wire is your video wire. Once you get done with that, I ended up putting some shrink wrap on the end of each one of the extra leads just so we don't get any connection there. And as far as the ready-made RC cable goes, I had a couple leftover cables I didn't use there either. Um, so I left those also with shrink wrap on the top of them. Once you get those connected, you can then take that and plug it in. And then this piece also comes with the 5.8 gigahertz system. So you can take that and plug it in here. Once that's done, this piece is essentially ready to go. The hardest part is just getting all these wires connected. And again, the only ones you're really going to use on their side it's the yellow and the black from the receiver. And then on the ready-made RC side, you're going to use the orange one to connect to the yellow. And you're going to use this brown one on the outside to connect to the black ground. And those are the only two connections you're going to make. And everything else stays as is. On the receiver side of it, this it'll come like this, but it will not have any type of connection at the end. It'll just be two open-ended leads right here. So I basically took a spare one of uh, these JST connectors, soldered it together, and then shrink wrapped the ends of it to get power over to the 5.8 gigahertz receiver. Initially I was using a 3S battery, but the receiver unit ended up getting very hot, um, so I ended up changing over and using the uh, 2S battery, and that seems to be working perfectly fine. So on this one you can just plug this guy in here. And then you're also going to have a plug in here for there's two video AV outs, so just plug into either one, and then now you've got your connection for the video out part. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to hook up each one of these, and then we're going to directly hook it into the GoPro, and then we're going to hook that up to the Harrier 7-inch uh, monitor system. So we're going to turn that on. part right here, I'll go right into the side. It's currently set to video mode. Look up our battery now, and I am using a 3S battery. This is an 11.1 volt 15C. So now we've got power to the transmitter. Now we're going to give power to our receiver. see the light indicator comes on right there to show you that you've got power to it. So now we'll take RC cable and hook that up to our monitor. As you can see you're now getting a live video feed based on the GoPro. You can see how it works. And the nice thing about the GoPro is you can also record the same way at the same time and it will display on screen for you. So you can go ahead and do the live video out and then also record um, in full resolution at the exact same time. So you can still be recording and it will show you a readout on the screen there of your time that it's recording and what mode it's in as well as the battery. One other thing I wanted to show you guys was um, the GoPro mount. Um, if you don't have a skeleton case that's got an open side on it, you can actually just drill a hole in the side. The nice thing about this ready-made RC cable is that it's got a little bit of uh, length right there, which is enough to clear the case and sit just on the outside of it. So you can take your GoPro and put it into place here. And then you can now take this and plug it in directly into the hole that I cut right there. It's got a nice, just a little bit of space right there in between. Now you've got perfect video feed coming out. And you can see everything works great with just that hole in the side right there. 
the way that I drilled the hole in the side of the GoPro case right here is I started off with kind of a smaller one just to get an initial um, hole drilled in there just to make it nice and easy. And I just put it directly over that, obviously take your GoPro out, um, drill the hole straight through there, and then I just started stepping up in sizes um, until eventually I actually ended up using a 3 8 inch drill bit, which is the biggest one in this set. And whenever I put that through there, it works absolutely perfect. That's exactly the right size. 